Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasir Skill Tone. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to discuss about how you can design a questionnaire, use the data into Excel file, put that in the Excel file, and then use the wonderful software called JAPS, which is of course free, to analyze your survey data. There are many softwares available, but JAPS is one of the best free software. You know the SPSS software, previously we have used a lot of time, but this was not free. Still, SPSS not free. On the other hand, JAPS is a free software. So, first you have to download the JAPS software. And how do you download this software? You go to JAPS.com or job JAPSstairs.org. Use this website address. Then go to download. Once you go to download, you have Windows version, you have Mac version, you have Linux version. Just download any version that your computer suited and then install as usual. I mean just install it and run in your computer. Once it installed in your computer, so once you install the software in your computer, the JAP software looks like this. So in this software, you can use the button open and then you can go to recent files, computer data, then data library which is inbuilt data in the JAPS software. So in this video, my first important issue that I'm going to show is how you can design your questionnaire. For that reason, the example that I'm using is a survey questionnaire on the study Perception Analysis for the Uses of AI, Artificial Intelligence in Human Resource, HR, in Private and Public Organizations in UAE. This is my title of study and this is where I am going to collect some data from private and public sector organizations from UAE. And this primary data survey or the questionnaire I'm distributing, for example, for this video for 10 persons. And what are the questions that I have asked? For example, personal information, age, sex, what type of organization they are located, like corporations, government, non-governmental. Then how long have you been working in HR? Have you been in any other department except HR? So on and so forth. We have AI related questions. Questions like at what capacity does your company organization employ artificial intelligence in human resource management? And I already put the option recruitment, employee assessment, employee relocation, retention, training, administrative. One thing you need to look at very carefully, my dear learners, is that I'm giving the option with the coded value. For example, one for recruitment, two for employee, three for employee relocation, four for training, and five for administrative law automation, six for benefit and cost analysis, and so forth and so on. Likewise, for example, this question, how do you feel about the statement, use of AI in HR smoothness workflow? For this question, I have option like strongly agree, agree, indifferent, disagree, and strongly disagree. And also the associated code are along with the question answer, like option answer, A, 1, strongly agree, 2, agree, 3 for indifferent, 4 for disagree, and 5 for strongly disagree. Likewise, I have 10 questions. I distributed this question to the different HR officials and they give me some feedback. For example, they might give us some information like what is the age, how long the duration in the working in HR or in which organization they are located, something like that. So once I have this information, I go to Excel file and I create this database. What are the database? My, my Excel file name is AI survey human resource management data. Now the age, since I said 10 persons, so 10 different people, so they are ages 22, 23, 24, 25, likewise, then their sex, type of organization, as, as, as just like the questionnaire questions, these are my variables or you can say questions that I use in this particular Excel file. And the data or, or you can say coded value I use in the Excel just like the one I put in the 
questionnaire for example one for corporations two for government for question three so in this case question three type of the organization two two one six two one ten two one which means the number 24 or eight observations or person eight in this particular example whose age is 24 and he responded that he is working number 10 coded organizations now let me see where is the 10 coded organization which means this 10 coded organization meaning that he is working in a cooperatives understand so this is how i input all the information of the human resource management issue related ai application related question feedback from the hr officials in an excel file with the coded values now i'm going to use this value or the excel file into jabs to show you how i can analyze this particular questionnaire data remember my dear learners before you input in the jabs file you need to go to file go to save as okay and if you want to sub uh, save in your desktop for example in this case instead of putting it as excel file remember use csv or comma delimited file this is very important to analyze the data or upload it into the japs software remember use the csv format to save your excel document okay now since i already have located or saved in my computer so i'm not going to do it but you just have to do it like this way saving your excel file as a csv format okay the next one is open the jabs okay and then you can see you go to open you have three dotted line blue lines go to that show open you you see here recent files i already uploaded my file from here but for your case probably it won't be like that so in this case you go to computer and then you browse your data from browser options so you see the ai survey data is located in my folder so this is the file ai survey hrm data that is already located in my computer i just have to open it and it will be just like that in computer like this in the japs software so once you open the jab soft once you import your file in the jab software the jab software looks like this so for example if i make it a little bit bigger you will see that i have this data for example the age information sex information type of organization duration ai place all these excel file data are already inserted into the jabs just like i showed you just have to go there go to open use the computer browse it and locate your data file and it will be automatically coming here now the question is my dear learner how do i manage to write male female male female because in my excel file it was not like that right remember it was six one two one one three two one two two right coded value but how do i write this string value in jabs it's very easy you just have to click this variable and you see just double click it you see corresponding value one i write male so if i click just like this you can create any value like male female or prefer not to say so this is how corresponding value label you can adjust your level by doing that okay just for example if i would like to uh, show you one in this case for example human resource same workforce so i did not decode it here just for the example reason so let me see what are the options i have last question so it was yes one for yes no and not sure correct so i go to the jabs again double click the variable itself go to the level and first you know remember one for yes so i write yes the next one it says no the answer was no for two right i coded two for no and the last one i coded three for not sure remember not sure okay so this is how i label my 
values into the jabs okay so all done i just make the cross here so you see now the values are yes 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 not sure not sure no not sure now you have completed all the information that is required for your analysis now let's do the analysis go to descriptive statistics now you have this descriptive one and you see all the variables are listed in the left hand side for example if i would like to say the ai placement this information just click this one and you see in the right hand side the value for example missing value mean standard deviation minimum maximum all this information for the sex variable and the ai placement these two variables are already there for instance if i say some statistical analysis i can do that from here it's very easy and simple very simple just you have to click this one and this will automatically appear in the right hand side like for example basic plot so if i say i would like to make a pie chart then the pie chart will automatically create in the right hand side and you see the pie chart is already created for example in my sex variable i have male female and prefer not to say so here it gives you the percentage of what percentage male and female and prefer not to say among the 10 people or 10 respondent giving you the feedback same goes to ai placement and you can see here all this information are given in the pie chart so likewise you can go correlation analysis if you would like to do any correlation analysis any type of analysis if you would like to do using this japs statistical software you can do it very easily not only that you can also use simple regression like correlation linear regression simple logistic regression using your coded value or your survey data so i hope this video is useful for you because this video firstly show you how to create a questionnaire in the hrm field and then i share you how to code the value into the excel file save it as a csv format then use the jab software to upload the data and how to label your coded value into the jabs like this one i just showed you yes 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 not sure like the everyone double click and you have this option to level your coded values and after doing that i go to descriptive statistics do some descriptive analysis like mean median standard deviation correlation basic plotting and then i can easily incorporate or copy the value for example if i would like to copy this value just click this one you see copy copy citation save image edit image if i would like to copy this value okay and then if i go to here for instance and you will see it's just like a publication ready outcome right click it and you can paste your value over here you can see here the value is already here so you can just a little bit smaller the value and name the value as a pie chart of the gender distribution in the hr department of different organizations the 10 organizations or 10 people that you have surveyed give the name of this chart and you have good to go and present this into your supervisor or your research paper publication so this is how you can use the jab software for free and also use the sample questionnaire coded information into excel and then analyze your data finally i hope this video is useful for you if you have any questions you can always email me or contact me i am very happy to respond as soon as possible you ask any type of questions thank you so much my learners i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye